run life live christ it's me rashawn i'm back with more scripture more bible more encouragement uh i just want to give you guys an update i'm so happy to be back this is memorial day weekend i hope you're enjoying your weekend you're enjoying it in a safe way um i'm currently in maryland where i'm serving i'm now in the navy so i've joined and we're doing we're doing different things right so i actually get to go around the world and you know share the name of jesus christ i think everything that i really prayed for and i want to do and move in god god has put me in the, this position to be able to do now so i had to kind of step back and be like mm, thank you god i had to go through my own little uh adjustment phase and being here but i'm able to come back and share with you guys i miss you i love you oh my god you don't know like i know of what the lord has done for me okay like for real for real uh <coughs> excuse me it's memorial day weekend and i wanted to share something i was able to be an mc yesterday for a barbecue that we've had uh for our detachment and um i had to read off or i didn't have to i just decided to read off what memorial day is so people are reminded of why we're celebrating that we're just not out barbecuing just a barbecue we're rem remembering those who have uh served before us that have um you know fallen and they've sacrificed literally their lives for the protection of this country and um as I was reading it, people somewhat became erected, like, okay, I understand why I'm here. Because, you know, you just get be partying and forgot why you party. And um, God gave me this in my heart of, like, remembering him and, like, what happens when you don't. And I've went through my own small trial of adjustment and had to be without people that, you know, weren't readily available for me to pull on when I needed god in that moment and i it seemed like i couldn't muster him for myself that i needed help you know don't forsake the fellowship of the saints it's hard when you don't have a like people to tug on for what you need so i was like man god that's perfect that's so smart of you and that, that's so silly of me to say that but it was just like it was brilliant how all of that connected so it brought me to a scripture and i didn't even have the scripture i was like lord i don't even know like where to find what you want me to find and i cracked open the bible and something I've highlighted, I was just like, bam, that's it. And I was like, you know what? Every day, I know with little stuff like that, God shows itself to be present. Even then, if we, if you don't know where to go, it's like, God will always like take you to where you need to go, right? So I'm going to share this with you. And I got three cool points. And hopefully this is going to help you in your daily walk because it, it has helped me presently, like exactly where I am today. So I wish to share the good news and hopefully enlighten you okay let me pray lord god hey we're back again thank you for what you've brought us to thank you for molding us and keeping us thank you for going before us in everything that we do lord help us to keep you in mind to run life and live christ with you in mind your statutes your promises um your history everything that you've done thank you for setting that as a constant reminder of who you are and how we are to follow you in your ways. In Jesus' name, we thank you. Help us to be strong enough to hold on and never let go, to always have hope and to always dig deep and deny the enemy any attention of what he's saying and truly listen to who you are, what you are, and how you are, God. And I thank you for being present for us in this day. In Jesus' name, we pray these things. Amen. <sighs> so I want to share the scripture. We're going to 1 Corinthians 16, verse 7. 1 Corinthians 16, verse 7. What style of Bible I got? I should know this. NIV, okay? You guys ready? Go back, sorry. 16, verse 17. Chapter 16, verse 17. I wrote down my notes wrong. I forgot the one. That was weird. Okay. I urge you, brothers, to watch out for those who cause divisions and put obstacles in your way that are contrary to the teachings you have learned. Keep away from them. You can't get more plain and simple than that, but I'll read it again. I urge you, brothers, to watch out for those who cause divisions and pull obstacles in your way that are contrary to the teachings you have learned. Keep away from them. All right, y'all ready to dig in? Because that's the scripture and that's it. And that's the bottom line. You know, y'all wrestling fanatics. Wrestling's going down. So, key words, brothers. Hey, people that are all in this together, that all have a like mind to serve Christ, okay? We're on the same page. 
I believe that if you're a Christian person, you should want to live a very whole, a very humble, a very disciplined, moral, and physical life, okay? If we're all in this together, this is our like mind. We're brothers, sisters. We're a group. We're in this together. We're unified in this one thought form that Jesus is Lord. He has came to this earth to teach us things. People have documented and wrote these things down the best they could. And this is what we have to move into the world as our instruction on how to operate as a human being. You following? All right. Brothers, okay? Watch out for those who cause division, okay? So the key word in this for me in that one was division and obstacles. Divisions that put obstacles in your way that are contrary to the teaching. Isn't it crazy that sometimes it's not crazy because there are like certain keys and stuff. I'm, I'm always big on literally, I'd be saying the same thing. There are systems in play that play over and over again that present themselves as like math equations. When you do this, you're going to get this outcome. When you do this, you're going to get this outcome. I swear we were playing the same systems on this planet over and over again. If you do those things, you're going to get this outcome. So a lot of things that are present when we're going through our obstacles, I'm going to put this Bible down, and we're going through our daily life is that we're presented with obstacles and obstacles could be anything. Obstable, ob obstacles for me would be, um, I'm just reaching my bag, <laughs> can be a, a change of, of, of environment. I'm not where I'm, you know, home-based at. Everything is brand new. People, ways, gestures, traditions, um, way of life. Everything is totally different. And um, I can't really find God where I usually find him. So I got to like, you know, not be drawn away by the obstacle and know that God is present in the shock of, of what I'm going through or the change and transition that I'm in, I have to be cognizant that this is how I reach God. Through prayer, through fasting, through worship. Prayer, fasting, worship, right? If I come out of these things and start trying to reach for God in a different way, I'm getting all thrown off guard. Hence the obstacles in my way are, that are distracting me from my present teachings on how to reach God when I need him. And how he's taught me to reach him in the word when I need him, right? So in those obstacles, like I say, it could be literally anything that throws you awry. That could just totally, you know, dip you off to the left. Um, what I've seen here, especially, uh, um, I have to choose my words wisely. Um, in, this, in, the new, in the new world that I live in, there is a lot of dependency on substances here. Um, when you're in an iso isolated place or when you have to work, like the one thing you go do to go wind down is, you know, use substances to to forget, to mellow out. And it isn't really practiced, uh, you know, go home and meditate or go home and, and work out or go home and do this. It's usually just go drink with your friends, you know, go chill and decompress with your friends. You know what I'm saying? And those things a lot of times turn out to be like really negative to where you become dependent and it becomes that obstacle to where you can't really function with God how you want to because you're putting your faith in, in the obstacle that is present to push you through, you know, whatever it is you're feeling. So in that, it says, uh, those who cause division and put obstacles in your way that are contrary to the teachings you have learned. What are the teachings that we've learned we know that God is, is present, like always. We're just going to throw some out there that you can reach him through fasting, prayer, and worship. Those are like like main points of contact when you really need to pull on God that he can uh, present himself, right? And we forget that putting our faith in objects and don't really do the trick, even though I'm going to get to the point of forgetting we forget. We could get so wrapped up in what we're going through that we forget who God is and we forget the doors to open to get to God, prayer, fasting, and worship. That we just take the first thing in front of us and it's like, mm, obstacle, mm, I'm forgetting God. You know, ooh, I'm getting all thrown off track. That is taking me 
away from the teachings of God. I'm not keeping away from them. I'm just going toward them. I'm opening those doors instead of opening uh, the door to the feet of the Father to really lament whatever I'm going through, right? So what is the solution of when we hit these obstacles? What is the solution when we forget how to get to God through prayer? Um, what did I say? Prayer, fasting, and worship. When we don't open those doors, what is a good way to resolve getting in the face of God or making sure we're getting to the place we need to in the ways he's teaching us, right? Way to do that? Real easy. Schedule. You got a phone, right? <laughs> no, honestly, you got to think about it. We schedule our day. We schedule when we go to work. We schedule when we wake up. We schedule when we need that cup of coffee. We schedule how we put our makeup on, how much how much time it's going to take to do the eyes, the midsection, and blending, the lip, and laying the edges. We got that down pat. There is no way you should forget, you know, all those physical things, physical things that you're doing. There's no way that we should forget how to take care of our spirit, man, and the most importantly, take care of our relationship with God and how to reach him. We should never forget that, right? We would think it will be so important, just important, as important as eating, right? It's like men don't live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Like, like you need that to survive because you cannot be balanced right? You can't be balanced. And the one thing the enemy wants to do is throw you off balance. I read it again. I urge you brothers to watch out for those who cause you divisions and put obstacles in your way that are contrary to the teachings you have learned. Keep away from them. Okay. When you're on schedule, you're never going to be off schedule, right? Put God on your schedule. I know it, so it sounds so easy. It sounds so easy and it really can be. And that's when we dig into the avenue of being disciplined. That's why being disciplined is like a whole baseline thing in all religions. It's, you don't fly by the seat of your pants. You hone in. You focus. Dial down. You worship in a focused way. You meditate. You say your mantras. Yeah, I'm going I'm to I'm hit everything because it's, it's all related in a, in a, a general facet of religion that that is just how the spirit man or the spirit or the inner person of the human being was trying to get to another place, wherever that place is, this is the baseline function, right? So honing in, dialing in, staying focused and staying disciplined and keeping a schedule is going to help you make sure that you're giving God his time. Like, you know, you call your mom when you're away. Let's say I'm away. I am. <laughs> I call my mom every so often to make sure I can keep a relationship with her. She knows I care, that she knows I love her, and she knows I'm alive, right? I have to keep that line of communication open. I keep a schedule with that. And I talk to my daughter. I keep the line of communication open. I give her about, uh, I call her once a week. So stuff can happen in a week, so we're just not hanging on the phone. So she could be interested, and we could be dialed into each other and always have new things to say. It should be the same way with God, so you don't forget I can't forget my mom or her voice or her tone or her love if I'm always dialing into it. I can never forget my baby. The way she laughs and her friends ask about her new friends. So when I, I really come to her, I, I know what's going on. I'm fully informed. And that should be the same thing because God, when you come to him, you're always going to be fully informed of how to thank you, Jesus, how to navigate, how to navigate life, how to pray, how to discern and move about this world in a different way that people can't see because you're dived into the teachings that he's presented you. You're using those resources adequately so you can have a beautiful, thriving relationship with God. It really is that easy. Put God on a schedule. That's not a bad thing. Do what you got to do. Huh? By any means necessary, get your relationship with the Lord. Don't let nothing keep you from the love of Jesus. Okay? We have phones. We got apps. We got, um you know, paper. I got a, a pamphlet of paper you could write underwater. I was like, dude, that's cool. Who y'all Navy? <laughs> so, um, again, go back on your own. Recur I like First Corinthians. It's a bunch, a bunch of messages to the church on, you know, getting their lives together. And we all need our lives together because it's all crazy without Jesus. I'm telling you. First hand experience. First Corinthians chapter 16, verse 17. I urge you, brothers, to watch out for those who cause division and put obstacles in your way that are contrary to the teachings that you have learned. Keep away from them, pure point blank. What are those things? Obstacles. It could be substances. It could be anything you're putting your faith in outside of God. You know God's going to help you. Stop walking out of the way. Crazy. I know I'd be doing it too. 
no trip you're not alone you know you forget you literally forget how god operates and you just be like well what do i need to do here you need to pray stop pray fast turn on that worship music and use your weapons you know your spiritual weapons to get your life back on track to get that communication you just, pff, peel back the veil and boom be at the feet of god walk through that thing stop being fooled by the enemy and put so many things in front of you how do you stop being fooled build a schedule build a schedule to put on your makeup and lay your edges and get your nails done you can build a schedule for the god you serve that helps you that protects you that has all these things that you can't see around you protecting you and just keeping you right invest in that just like you invest in every area of your life your spirit man and that relationship with god is so important as well make sure you like follow share run like live christ somebody else might need to hear this don't be greedy share the message yes i did do this whole sermon with my sports bra because i'm gonna be myself i'm working on being myself y'all don't like it i don't know i encourage you to go put a sports bra on too who wants to wear one of these tight bras with your boobies you know strapped to your back it's not comfortable i like being comfortable sharing the word of god if your mind is somewhere else that's your problem go pray about it <laughs> i love y'all um be blessed take this share this word don't be greedy people need to hear this people are dropping like flies um i have my own little situation i'm always having a situation look i know i'm strong in the lord and the lord be just jobing me hey take Rashawn. she's strong Ugh. it's like oh my god i didn't want that i learned something but ow i need a band-aid but i'm willing to go through these experiences to be able to share more of the word of god so it is what it is i know my job i know my place and this is <laughs> this is my place this is where i thrive i love you guys be well enjoy your memorial day weekend peace